It's just a bit of a, not quite a response video because those haven't been a thing in ages, but a thing on uh, kind of commenting on David Paz's issue with how he has a Solar 12K on loan and he's had the thing glitch out on, my, glitch out on him on a fairly regular basis. And that is really an issue due to inadequate load balancing because these uh, transformerless inverters are a lot more sensitive to stuff being imbalanced on the various phases than would be a transformer type inverter so like Outback Radian, Magnum S MSPAEs, the Connex XW and SW series of inverters etc. And that is really an issue if you don't properly manage your loads you know as I've said so it's one of those things where you really need to be fairly aggressive about making sure that stuff's evenly loaded uh, across the two phases. Now what is a bigger issue, and you know, why I'm making this video, is the problem is, is that they, is Solark right now is dependent on a third party company in China to do their data logging and, data, and uh, monitoring and stuff. Problem is, is this company, uh, Chengdu Elinter, being in China, asked to do basically whatever the Chinese government wants. So that means that if the Chinese government wanted all these things shut off remotely, well, any inverters in any Western country, because they do a lot of monitoring stuff for a lot of different things, uh, then something, you know, kill switch in Beijing, these things could uh, be shut off if not uh, disconnected. And that's why any kind of sign or geopolitical, what have you, and these things are getting disconnected from the internet. But what would be a, a very important thing for Solar to do, integrated web server in this, so that way they can be monitored over the end user's local area network, kind of like how uh, Midnight Solar with their classics uh, do. So that way I can have a piece of software on one of my computers, and I can just see how this is doing, without any connection to any external something or other. So that way, even if the internet is down at large, my local area network is still up because I have my own network of uh, uninterruptible power supplies and stuff beyond these and my other uh, small solar system. Not to get too much into OPSEC and how my you know local internet works, but uh, that way I can poke this over the network, see how it's doing. Uh, likewise, for people who do want uh, cloud monitoring and what have you, have an American-developed cloud app where the data is hosted on American servers. So yeah, that right there is critical just because, especially since how implody uh, China is looking, uh, given the this nature of the Chinese and what have you, they'd want to take us down with them and everything else down really. So definitely having either in the form of a dongle that plugs into the DE9 connector on the bottom of the, well, bottom in the case of this dial, on uh, the newer uh, uh, NEMA 3R ones, the dongle connections on the side, just a little box with a ethernet connection, maybe even a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth for wireless communication that just hosts a local web server so you can query the thing, see how it's doing, blah, blah, blah. If you want an app on your telephone or something or other that can talk to the thing over Bluetooth, uh, again, develop one here by Americans. And that is really the critical point of the thing. Um, so yeah, if you want, if that's the main complaint I have with the, uh, you know, the Solark platform, there you go.